rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Snoop D-O-Double-G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my God, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I'm so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it, and in case you missed it, the former head of Black Lives Matter of Greater Atlanta has been sentenced to 42 months in prison for misusing donation funds to sustain his lavish lifestyle and even pay for escort services. Wow. On Thursday, October 3rd, Tyree Conyers Page learned his fate after being convicted of wire fraud and money laundering after a six-day trial in April. He was found guilty of diverting funds intended for the movement into his own pocket. The investigation began in April 2020 when the FBI received alarming complaints about Page's deceptive practices as a supposed BLM leader. It was discovered that he established BLM GA as a nonprofit, which before 2020 showed very little financial activity. However, after the tragic death of George Floyd, donations went through the roof to almost half a million dollars in just a few short months. Despite claiming that the funds were dedicated to movement-related activities, initiatives, Authorities revealed that Page splurged on personal luxuries like furniture, entertainment, and a $100,000 house in Toledo, Ohio. Six figures in, baby. Six figures. Six figures in, baby. Hey. While he tried to pass off some of his spending as reasonable salary, he openly admitted that he never consulted the organization about his compensation. He also spent an undisclosed amount on at least one ex-worker. Wow. Why didn't know my life? came to his own defense and wrote, I'm still maintaining my innocence and I'll be filing an appeal. And when this person wrote, you deserve to rot in a cell, he replied and said, that sounds very teeterish of you. And then said, tell that to your mammy. Oh, wow. This is sad that people use George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter in such a capacity, but it's not just BLM, let's be honest. It's a lot of places that take donations, i.e. the Red Cross, let's be honest, they took millions and millions of dollars to help Haiti when they was going through the earthquake, but they didn't even help them for real. I'm just saying. So let's put everyone on trial because he's just one person that got caught. But nevertheless, what he did is still wrong, allegedly. Oh, and by the way, yes, he is black. He's albino for those who didn't know. But yeah, what are y'all thinking? We really want to know. So leave your thoughts below, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.